Just imagine if you could look over the shoulder of some of the finest painters from the past or today. If you could watch them work. This is Don Hamilton and I'm going to take you on a journey. We're going to take some of their seminal works and we're going to break it down. I'm going to talk to you about why I believe it works as a painting. Now, of course, this is my opinion, but over 30 years of experience in painting has taught me a lot. And I'd like to share this with you. So please join me as we explore masterpieces from yesterday and today. Here's an absolutely beautiful painting by Frank Tenney Johnson called Night on the Mesa. Now Frank Tenney Johnson was born in Iowa in 1874 and he in my mind was just the best at painting night scenes. No one I know captured the light and the color in a night, saint, a night painting like he did. When you think of night paintings a lot of times you, th you think of dark somber paintings but as you can see here this piece is just brimming with color everywhere. In fact, with a few changes, you could make this a daytime painting if you just made some adjustments to some of the values and colors. So let's take a look at this and see why Night on the Mesa works so well. First of all, the composition is very strong. You've got these big shapes here coming, you know, this big division of space here with the sky. And you've got uh, these kind of gray voids back here that really help to frame uh, the center of interest here you know if you look at these the way the horse sits back here you've got this white muzzle here framed against that dark background that neutral background which really sets off the painting and then of course you've got all the majority of the detail drawing as well as the strong value contrasts right here in the center of interest and even though the center of interest is really placed right in the middle of the painting. It still works very well, unbelievably well. And in fact, uh, when you look at how, how your eye moves through this painting, you've got the, these lines, these diagonals creating here that bring your eye back into the painting. And you know, you get the, I think I, what I like about this angle here is it feels like it can kind of just drop off the cliff. Look at right here. This is really cool now. I'm not sure if I tried to do that, if I could pull that off and really make it work. Because it would be so easy for your eye to fall off the edge of the painting. But because the values are fairly close and uh, you know there's not a lot of detail over there, I think it works real well. The other thing I like about this is you've got this real human interest right here where you've got this light here and this says to me he just got off the trail he just got home he's getting unpacked and ready to bed down for the night look at all the color up front here as well now as I said I think you could fairly easily turn this painting into a daytime painting just by changing the color of the sky the increasing the color and values inside the shadows here and making a few adjustments this could be a daytime painting if you isolate these colors right here you can see they're fairly bright there's now this photo I've never seen this original I've seen a number of his paintings originals in Oklahoma City at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum as well as the Wooler Rock Museum in Oklahoma and so I've, I've studied his paintings considerably and you know, they just amaze me that he continues to get color in these. Now, I've never seen this original. I believe it's in a private collection. So the photograph may or may not be accurate, but, um, you know, I, I think some of these colors, I've seen them in his original paintings, and it just continues to amaze me. Uh, I, I think the composition works so well because it's telling the story as well. It's telling the story of, you know, coming home and getting ready to relax for the evening and be back you know off off the trail here um, you can see the contrast here with the, the dark horse and the white items that are on the on this back of this horse here just masterful in terms of how he took and composed these values to really keep your eye moving through the focal point and really really make the painting as strong as it is. 
you've got a few very simple shapes here as well. I think I like the, sh the shadows, you know, tie the whole thing together. And that's one thing I would say to anybody who's painting, you know, look at how masterfully he takes and he ties these shapes together and grounds them with this shadow right here. Just a wonderful work. So again, Frank Tenney Johnson, I would urge you, whenever you get a chance to see some of his work in person, take advantage of it. They are spectacular.